Hey guys, what's going on? Crygo Crystal here, and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. So I'm sitting next to my mom. I decided to start here because I know there's another story thing that comes out, I think, next where I have to like get the stuff for Crystal. Or is that after? I think that's after. Okay. So we're not gonna get any Nuzlocke things yet because we don't have Pokeballs. No Nuzlocke doesn't start till I get Pokeballs. So that's gonna be fun. <clears throat> Too slow. Crygo, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had to get this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how there's a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that, because legendaries are so easy to catch. Me and you together. We got nothing to fear. Okay, so Oh, I can run, sweet. Look at, look at Crystal. His little, like, uh, pit of powder. I think this is a Cyrus thing in Platinum, I think. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. I want to read the sign now, but we'll come back to it. What's going on? Cyrus, um, the time flow, the flowing time, the expanding space, it will make it all mine one day, Cyrus is my name, remember it, until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to pass, step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. Oh, Crygo. Let's catch that. Okay, Crygo. Let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Did you hear that, Crygo? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. It had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs? P O K accent E balls? <laughs> balls. <laughs> if we don't have those, we can't catch a Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rome would give us some if we asked him? You know, do you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit about his lab if you need anything. Okay, Crygo, I'll race you. First went to the professor's lab in Sandham Town Rules. Hey, he's no longer gambling and betting like money to to get more money at least, so that's upside. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing out there. So now I'm gonna check out the sign. Really quick. Uh very head, according to the lessons, like his home to let the Pokemon is said to be the being of motion. I think that's you see or as of the Mesprit. I don't remember, I'm just listing the three that I know. So I think we just gotta walk the grass slowly. Cause I don't want to get caught. What is he talking about here? Ooh, fun, a tentacle. We're just gonna run from this because I don't really have any feeling of wanting to battle this thing. I'm gonna run ahead. Just keep running and run through the grass. That was probably a really long way to do it, but we're good, we're good. We're all good. Okay, it's done. Like, oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor's waiting. God, you can't keep me waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. God damn, stop running into me. What the? Oh, it's you, Crago. The old guy, he's not scary so much as he is. We're totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Crago. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow. What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Well, well, look who's here. Crygo, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you've made your Pokemon evolve already. No, it's a Gibble. Hmm, trusting you with Gibble, with no mistake I see. Professor, whoops. <laughs> well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I would. So, shark kind of thing. 
I'm thinking of naming it T. I think. Yeah, I was gonna go with kind of stereotypical bang or something, but nah. Teeth. Teeth sounds fun. Hmm, okay, so you, I see you're happy with that nickname. Professor. I keep saying that, God. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without a Pokemon, I was shocked. I, it was sur astounding to see these foolhardy children, but now you're astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there's a bond going between you and your Pokemon because somehow Gibble is a second or first stage Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Gibble feels the same way. That's why I ask you to cherish that Gibble of yours. I'm so glad you're kind towards your Pokemon. If if you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I can't say. That's the exact same music. Mm hmm. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want to do you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name is, as you know, Rowan, because uh, everyone knows me. I am famous and I don't know why I'm introducing myself. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon that serve me? Well, I mean, honestly, no, but sure. Hmm. <clears throat> Good answer. Crygo obtained the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Crygo, I ask you to go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up to 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived here 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that, where, that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means you're, there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Crygo, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was Chimchar. If you had chosen Chimchar on Route 201, we'd have had the same Pokemon. Now, well, that's, I don't think she ever had the same Pokemon as you. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm Dawn. I also hope Professor add page to the Pokedex that I'm probably going to beat you because I'm just really, really mean. So in sense, I'm just like you, but better. I just got a little hot head start on you. That's all. I'm going to be better than you and make Professor happy. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Crygo. See, she thinks she's better than us. I know it's true. She definitely thinks she's better than us, and I don't like it. Rygo! I have something good here. You take this as well. TM27. So TMs are TMs and HMs are randomized, just by the way. This is a technical machine that contains move return. Using a technical technical machine or TM for short to use the move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly a Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use a TM or not. I'll send you off with that wish that your journey will be fun. Oh, wow, I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Crago, I'll act as your mentor, because I'm better. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. So, this episode, the plan is to try to get as many encounters off those starting two routes and the route before. That's the goal. This building with the red roof at the Pokemon Center, I know. Okay, I played this game, I played Diamond Pro before and Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, XY, all the stuff. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon in most towns, Pokemon Center in most towns. I think every town, I think, except for the first town. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Crago, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. I'll buy them for you. No, I won't, because I'm a bitch. But, you know what? I, I'm just gonna. She, she's. I'm. I'm, I'm self-centered and better than you because you're novice. And I'm. I'm experienced. I'm your mentor. Oh, that's right, Crygo. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Ron and Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know before you go. Get out your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary. Okay, bye now. Just leaves me. This is a nice luck. So if you die, it's not my fault. So I think what I'm gonna do just to save time for the video. I'm gonna cut here and come back when I've gone to the when I've gone talk to my mom. 
and I'll probably speed up for the, um, what do you call it, the tutorial. So I'll just speed through the tutorial and do a little talking over that, okay? See you guys in a bit. Home with mom, I, sp I just sped through the whole running back thing. Welcome home, Crago. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest here. My Pokemon are fully healed. I'm fine. What is it, Crago? Oh, wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, you go for it. Your mom's got your back. You're not cool, mom. Stop. Oh, I know, Crago. I've got something that you'll find useful. I obtained a journal. That's a journal. It keeps record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Crygo, you'll be all by yourself. I'll be all right by myself. So you go and enjoy your adventure. Just trying to guilt trip me. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, okay. It makes your mother happy too, but come back sometimes. I would like to see the kind of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Even if it's like a 20 foot long snake in the water. Excuse me. Is my cr is my little crystal here? I don't know why I gave him a Russian accent. Oh, oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left out, left out already. What to do? The boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I, I at least want him to take this. Not to worry, Krago will deliver that to him. I love. I don't even know what this is. Won't you, Krago? Oh really? You'll do that for me? Crygo, please take this to my cri to crystal for me. Crygo obtained the parcel, which I'm pretty sure has the town map. Bye bye, Crygo. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take care of that crystal. Of my crystal. Okay, so I'm gonna cut again and come back when I'm at the tutorial. So, I'm going to talk to Don. Speed this part up. Oh, that's right. Crago, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So just watch me, okay? Because I'm the best. Yeah, she must be right. I remember I was doing a randomized, I think, of Pearl on my own, just playing it off the you know? And she got a Rotom. She got a Rotom, but she caught it. Okay. So, the idea behind how I came up with this, the randomizer, it's not an original idea. I'll give you that now. There's uh, another Poketuber. There's a Poketuber out there named the King Nappy Anola. You guys probably know him. He's a pretty, he's pretty famous. I love him. I watch his videos a lot. I love him. He's a great YouTuber, a YouTuber and I enjoy his Pokemon videos. And I learned about this through him, and I just immediately was like, yes, I want to do it. So that's how I learned about it. Hee <laughs> hee. See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did, because I'm terrible. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch, so injure it as much as you can. Throw rocks and sticks, so Pokemon also get easier to catch. If you make them sleep or something, then cram them inside that little metal ball, which I don't know how the metal got in when they're Apricorns. If you make them sleep or something, just by using a Pokemon's move... Okay, Crago, to get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Here we go. Today is Encounter Day, then we're going to try to get Jubilee City tomorrow, next episode. And yeah, so if you might be able to see the time on my screen, it is really late at night for me, because I'm away most of tomorrow, so I wanted to get this video ready to go up tomorrow morning, before I leave, and that way you have something to watch. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now! <clears throat> I think Professor Owen with the whole, oh, it's evolved already thing. I believe that's just uh, whenever it's not the starter, it's, he's just like, oh, it's already evolved. Oh my god, I don't want this. Ooh, okay, I'll take it though. It's just Duke's castle. I don't know what to name it all. Um, so, female ch chingling. What do I have a female chingling? Charlotte or something, I don't know. 
Going through the uh, first route to get to where to get to here. I shall electrify this. I love an electrifier. If I don't get chimney, I'm fine. If I get an electrifier, I am so happy. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Let's tell that whole story. That's good. Sorry, I sped up a bit to, to get through this thing. Oh, okay, bye, chimney. I didn't lose you. He's dead. And now, Teeth gained 42 experience. Teeth the Gibble. So, no encounter from there. That's okay. We're just gonna go down a heel. Quick with the Pokemon Center, because if we're facing Electrovire, I don't want to lose my first Pokemon against an Electrovire, my only Pokemon, and lose the Nuzlocke against an Electrovire. So, yeah, that's fine. But, uh... I'm excited for this. This is the, this is where everything starts to go into motion. So, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So, the first episode, uh, second episode, sorry, when I was talking about losing Teeth against uh, Crystal in their rival battle. Please give me Electrovire. I saw the Electrovire. Please give me the Electrovire, please. Oh my God, no! Ah, uh, okay, fine, I'll take it. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's okay. I need like a water stone so I can evolve it. So. Not terrible. But like, I don't need your water spell. Tackle it. Okay. Have a long time. Please don't do it quick. You crit into it. Okay. Pokeball. Again, it's a female. Okay, all the way is caught. So, who are we gonna name it? What are we gonna name it? What are we gonna name it? This polywag. What are we gonna name this polywag? Its skin is so thin, its internal organs are visible, it is trouble walking on newly grown feet. Given the name to Paul Poly Poly I need to speed up tech speed, oh my god. Uh name it Polly just because it's kind of ironic. Polly. Poly. So yeah. Oh my god, I swear, if this is an electrobite, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, okay. It's not, I'd rather not get that one instead, so. Run. So now this is the part where I run to get to the, now I'm gonna try to run to get to the lake. I think I'm gonna end off at the lake, so I can have time to edit this for tomorrow, and have this ready for tomorrow. And that's that, I'd rather have it, so I'm gonna end at the lake. And I'll probably do some grinding tomorrow night. I'll uh, make a little montage at the beginning. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. That's amazing. <sighs> yes, please. I'll take it. I don't know what no is though. Oh, that is conversion. It's a steel type. Hello. Okay, stay in this Pokeball, please. Oh my god, please don't do this to me. Normal type. I want it. Smash Pokeball. I just realized something. It caught! Yes! Oh my god, by the way, just a side note. If you see anything on the layout change, it's because I'm slowly working things out on how to do this. This is not, I'm not, I'm new to the whole YouTube thing, if you didn't know. So you might see layouts start popping up. You might, because right now I'm using like a desktop, a blank desktop as my wallpaper. It's really bad. But like, I mean, and I have like squares for Pokemon. But I forgot to read this description. Damn it. Okay, what do we name Porygon Z? Uh, Porygon Z. I'm naming it Malware because Porygon Z is Malware. Originally. I want to look at this thing's stats. That is amazing. I actually kind of, I'm just interested in see what, what else we can get in this guy. Got grass. Roar, talk. 
Oh, I'm so happy I didn't get a pawn sleep. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. So, starting next episode, after this, I will indeed be doing a team recap, a team kind of explanation of what my team is and who we've got. So let's just go explore up here a little bit and check it out. So, I'm actually six. We got two new Pokemon. Let's look. So, Summer. First up, we have Teeth. The Gibble, I almost forgot what's name, is a hardy nature. I don't know what that does. It's level five, obviously. Quick temper, happy to eat anything. Uh, has sand fell, which is great if I can get something that has sand stream. It dropped me with tackle and sand fact, nothing else because it's only level six. Excuse me. Um, not much else. Polly, the Polywag, which I, or Pol yeah, Polywag, which I just caught. Timid nature, which I don't know what it does. I need to look at the natures. It has, oh my god, I love it to one health. It's water absorb, which is good. Water absorb is great. It only has, oh my god, it only has water sport. I don't know if I'm putting this on the team. We'll see. I probably will, because I'm going to train it up, because... Lastly, we have Malware, the Porygon Z, or Z. I'm going to say Z, because that's what it sounds. Honestly, I think that's the way the name was made. I am Canadian. Hasty Nature, uh, just caught it. It has adaptability powers up moves of the same type. Isn't that what Stab is? Conversion 2, which I need to look at these moves, actually. Can I, can I look at the moves? I can't. Okay, this changes its type to make it resistant to the type of the attack it last took. So, that's actually super helpful. Tackle, the physical attack, we know what Tackle does. Conversion, it changes the type become the same type as one of its moves. That's really good as well. Nasty Claw, it stimulates its brain, thinking about it is. I'm going to sharply raise the user's special attack. You know what, guys? I'm thinking... Maybe... For sign-off at some of the videos, I might just put... A short clip of... Grinding. Hmm, that's a thought, actually. That's a good idea. That's a decent thought I could do. So I'm going to go get to this Pokemon Center, and then we're going to sign off... There. Actually, no, I'm going to sign off here. I don't know how long this video has been. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Again, let me know if you want to see longer videos. Last episode was 15 minutes. This might be a little around 15 minutes. I don't know. But thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Remember, leave a like, comment. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me if I should use Polly in the team. I might leave those two that slot blank. I might just have the Gibble. Keep the Gibble and Malware the Porygon Z. But it is up to you guys. Ish. I mean, I want to know what you think. Tell me what you think about getting a poly. Um, leave it down in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear your recommendations because I'm not great at building teams. So thank you so much. Leave a like. Hit the like button down below. Just, just smash it. Break the button. And subscribe if you want to see more. I will be doing more Pokemon. I'm trying to make this more regular, if you can't tell. Because this more... I made two videos, put them out because one cut. This one I'm putting out tomorrow. Or today. You'll be seeing this the day it's supposed to go out, obviously. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.